the dodo bird went extinct. But the hornbills in Singapore rose back from extinction. Let's learn about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now there's so many plants and animals. <laughs> Today, we are at Changi Village to learn about and observe the Oriental Pied Hornbills. Easily recognized by their large distinctive beaks, this species, also known as Anthrocosteros alperostris, is the only true wild hornbill we have here in Singapore. And around the globe, this species can also be found in the Indian subcontinent and in other parts of Southeast Asia. Oriental Pied Hornbills are pretty large birds. Not only are they able to grow up to 70 cm from head to tail, they also have bills that can grow up to a third of that body length. And some of you may look at it and say, Whoa, down here got token, got token, whoa, token slay! Bro, fake news. Aside from their geographical origins, you can actually distinguish a hornbill from a toucan by the rich structure on its bill. And this horn-looking thing is what's called a cask. Ecology experts have noted various potential purposes of the cask, such as to reinforce the bill, for visual signalling, or for amplifying their calls. <laughs> and the entire beak structure is not as heavy as it appears to be, because it is made out of a honeycombed tissue rather than solid bone. But even then, the bills are still strong enough for them to eat through fruits like papayas and durians. Because their tongues are shorter than their bills, they need to knock their heads backwards to throw food in. Like here, with these fruits from a palm tree. Other than wild fruits, hornbills do sometimes feast on large insects, small reptiles, and even small birds. But their diets do change slightly between the breeding and non-breeding seasons. With these hornbills reportedly preferring sugar-rich fruits when not mating, and lipid-rich fruits and invertebrates when it is breeding season. Unlike the majority of the animal kingdom, hornbills are hopeless romantics that form and mate in a lifelong monogamous pair. Although what is more unique is their breeding method. In an act of true partnership and trust, the female hornbills would actually seal herself up inside their nesting holes when it is time for them to consummate their love. Using a mixture of materials like mud and their own poop, the couples build a wall that closes the female off leaving only a thin slit for the male to deliver food through. The female then remains sealed in the cavity for around 3 to 5 months as she incubates her eggs and also care for her chicks once they hatch. This seal protects her and her offsprings from potential predators or even other birds that are trying to steal their nesting cavity. However, with the development and urbanisation of Singapore from the mid-1800s, many of the trees in our country were chopped down. Without any more available tree hollows that suited them, the population of the oriental pied hornbills at that time soon decreased to the point of local extinction. But about 150 years later, in 1994, a pair of them surprisingly flew over and returned to Pulau Ubin. And after the introduction of the Singapore Hornbill Project, which focused on studying their nesting ecology and the setting up of artificial nesting boxes, the Oriental Pied Hornbills have re-established multiple healthy colonies all around Singapore, with a population of around 100 hornbills and counting to date. Many of them are now even settling in with the HDBs that stand over where their trees used to be. So you might be thinking, with today being National Day, why on earth are you talking about some bird? So I think for many of us, we had to change how we define our homes in the past few months of the year 2020. Some of us had to convert our houses into a workspace. Some of us had to experience new or revisited tension and conflicts within our houses. And some of us took the time during Circuit Breaker to just completely change up our homes. But if we can learn anything from the hornbills, it is that we can recover. What normal means may definitely change down the line, but it doesn't mean we cannot find new ways to thrive by. So be patient, remain cautious, and follow the hornbills and keep making love. <laughs> and this wraps up the very first episode here on the Little Red Jungle. Uh, I hope all of you find your own little ways of celebrating the National Day holiday. And if you've got nothing to do, don't worry, I got your back, uh, because I've got some hornbill reads and links down in the description if you want to check them out.
And if you have any interesting photos or videos of our Singapore wildlife, why don't you send them over to me through my social links and I can feature them in a future video. Also, don't forget to give the subscribe button a clicky so that you can watch more videos of our Singapore ecology. Have a good national day and don't forget, keep your eyes peeled because it is a jungle out there.